And then this is the third case. Um, so this was a young gentleman, a homeless, and six months prior to this exam, his liver was normal. This is Linton's case, I'm presenting it on his behalf. Um, no, no. Um, and so six months ago, the liver was normal, and now we've got this lesion, this big mass in the liver, and this other big mass in the liver. Um, can you see my arrow? Yeah, I can see your arrow. Okay. Can you zoom okay. in if you can? If not, it's okay too. Um, and then that was the arterial phase, so we could see that it was arterial enhancing. And then this is the venous phase. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can adjust this, but basically it's kind of homogeneous, but it's got like either vessels going through it or it's kind of got this, the structure going through it. And then um, down here, similar kind of appearance. Let me adjust the window. I don't know how to do that here. Uh, can you see it okay? Yeah, I can see it okay. Okay. So any thoughts about rapidly developing multiple masses in the liver, patient has HIV. Mm. On T2, I don't have the T2 here, but it was basically like intermediate gray signal. It wasn't uh, very bright. Um, well, infection. Um, you know, I, it, it's developing so fast that other, because um, it's enhancing and it's washing out. So I, I, like other like primary liver processes, I'm not like thinking about so much. Um, does it restrict on DWI? Yeah, so it, that's another feature that is um, key to this case is that it had very, um, I only learned in retrospect, but it had a lot of restricted diffusion here, um, but still pretty homogeneous. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we, Restricted diffusion, I would think like abscess. This is basically like a retrospective diagnosis, but I think I think that um, once we familiarize ourselves with this, we could think about it in the future. Yeah. Steve. Right. I'll solve the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Help out. So we thought it could be some kind of indolent infection or abscess, and that's really good for HIV. Yeah. Um, patient's CD4 count was um, low, 34. He's not been treated, so he basically has AIDS. Um, and anyway, we, we biopsied this, and it came back lymphoma. <gasps> oh, wow. So a couple of things to think about. Lymphoma can be, like, right. often these kind of blobby masses um, with, like, lobulated borders and may have vessels going through them or these kind of vessels areas, but otherwise fairly homogeneous and kind of bland-looking. Um, and then they have, because they're so highly cellular, they have a lot of restricted diffusion. So there were papers showing like that the, D the ADC values will be much darker and lower than, than other types of masses. Um, and then it's uh, much, much more common, especially in the liver in patients with HIV and, and AIDS, and they actually get a much more aggressive lymphoma. So the fact that it kind of grew so rapidly um, is not surprising. Like if we didn't know that he had HIV, maybe that's a reason to go test. The reason is um, because of the immunosuppression and then also because of co-infection with EBV and HSV8. Um, so these are the pre predisposing um, viruses that are affiliated with lymphoma. Was it isolated to the liver or were there other extrahepatic lymphoma involvement? Yeah, I think it was. Um, I didn't look deeply yeah, yeah and at least in the abdomen we didn't see no pancreas looks a little robust but i think it was mostly the uh <laughs> i mean he's kind of cachectic we don't have much fat here yeah but at least in the abdomen um i think it was just in the liver yeah i don't know that i would have added lymphoma to my ddx but uh, now you will right it's a it's a when you're running out of a differential diagnosis you yeah. put a little fault on it sarcoid amyloid lymphoma and tb <laughs> them in every single case where you're scratching your head yeah but i think and you know knowing you had pretty bad hiv and you know just now in retrospect mm -hmm. and yeah. then like lobby appearance vessels going through high um high eight or like very low adc something it's to think not about. very good for infection because it looks like enhancing masses. Not exactly. Yeah, it was like so. It's much more solid than we would expect for um, abscess. Although you know you can get atypical abscesses, so you could put both in. You know, ultimately it has to be biopsy, but 